In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a complex circuit that has mixed parallel and series resistors. And essentially, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to use everything we know about circuits uh, to simplify this. Um, we're going to use Ohm's law. We're going to use what we know about voltage and current in series and parallel. And we're going to uh, use equivalent resistance in series and parallel. Um, and there are a lot of different, uh, you, there's usually more than one order you can do things in depending on the circuit. But this strategy is going to work every time. And uh, basically, this strategy is going to be that we are going to simplify our circuit into its equivalent simplest form uh, by using our parallel and series resistor equations. Uh, then we're going to use Ohm's law to figure out current and voltage for all of the elements in our circuit. Then we're going to go back to our more complex circuits and plug in our uh, values that we found. Uh, and then we're going to repeat this process, use, use Ohm's law over and over again um, until we have all of the currents, all of the voltages, all of the resistances of every element in the circuit. Now this, is a, this can be a long process depending on your circuit, but it should work every single time. Um, but you want to give yourself some space whenever you solve a circuit like this. So let's just get started. Here we have a... Uh, well, this is our circuit. We have a 20 volt source of voltage. Then we have a 5 ohm resistor. We have two paths. One path is 10 ohms. The other path it has a 20 and 15 ohm parallel loop uh, in series with a 25 ohm resistor. So this is pretty complex. It's definitely not series or parallel. Um, so let's get started. The first step is going to be to simplify uh, anything that's purely series or purely parallel. So the only thing I can see that's purely series or purely parallel is the 20 ohm and the 15 ohm, uh, which I'm actually going to label all of these resistors. I'm going to label them 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that'll keep things a little bit more straight uh, as we move on. But since they are in parallel, if we want to find the equivalent resistance of, for example, uh, 3 and 4 combined, R of 3 and 4 to the minus 1 is equal to uh, 1 over 20 ohms plus 1 over 15 ohms, which gives us 1 over the equivalent resistance of uh, 0.1166 repeating per ohm. And so our equivalent resistance for 3 and 4, we have to take the reciprocal of that, and we get... 8.5771 ohms. And I'm using a lot of sig figs just so rounding errors don't compound. So we found the equivalent resistance. What we're going to now do is redraw the circuit. So I'm going to do that over here. Actually, I'm going to give myself a little bit less space, but let's redraw this circuit. We have 20 ohms. We have still 5 ohms over here. Then we have still a split. We have 10 ohms right here. And down here, we well, we combined 3 and 4, so that's now only one resistor. And it's in series with resistor number 5. So this is our equivalent circuit. Let's label everything. 5 ohms is 1. 10 ohms is 2. And this is going to be uh, 8.5771 8 ohms. 8.5. 7, 1 ohms, and that is, that's going to be 3 and 4 combined, so I'm going to label it 3, 4. And our next resistor is 25 ohms. So, um, so next up, we're just going to keep doing what we do. Uh, anything purely in parallel or series? Oh, yes, we have this, uh, this uh, resistor 3, 4 and resistor, uh, resistor 5. To label that in series with one another. So to find uh, to find the resistance of resistor three four five, we just add them up. It's going to be eight point five seven one ohms plus twenty five ohms, which will give us a resistance of thirty three point five seven one. Thirty three point five seven one ohms. And so, uh, again, we're going to keep simplifying. I'm going to just draw a little arrow here to indicate that we're simplifying. 
And we have found resistor 3, 4, 5, so let's redraw out that circuit. 5 ohms. Then we have a split in a path. Up top we have one resistor. And down below we have, now we have one equivalent resistor. This is 20 volts. 5 ohms is uh, number 1. Number 2 is 10 ohms. And uh, 345 is 33.571 ohms. Again, I am not rounding yet. 345. Uh, so we are, we are getting much simpler. Um, we can see that 2 and 345 are in parallel with one another. So to find the equivalent, which I'm going to call uh, R2345, uh, and since they're in parallel, it's R2345 to the minus 1 is going to be equal to 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 33.571 ohms. I probably am using way too many sig figs here. And that gives us 0.1298 per ohm. So that means R1234, whoops, that's... 2345 2, 3, 4, 5 is equal to 7.70 ohms. 7.0 ohms. We are getting so close. We're almost there. Um, so now we have R1 just in series with R2345. R2345. This is 5 ohms. I drew this in blue. And this is going to be 7.70 uh, ohms. 7.70 ohms. 20 volts. And now these two are in series, so we just add them up to find the total resistance. Our total is equal to 5 plus 7.70, which is 12.7 ohms. 12.7 ohms. So we've actually found a very, very super basic version of this circuit. This is an equivalent circuit to the very complex one at the very beginning. 20 volt source and a 12.7 uh, ohm resistor. Uh, now this is a lot of steps. We have done the first part of it. Now we have to go back to figure out everything about our original um, original resistor. So to do that, I'm actually going to copy and paste this so that um, so that it's easier for when we do the notes. Well, that's so it's uh, so it's easier to see for anybody who comes back. But uh, now we have our just a copy of what we've done, and we're going to use Ohm's law to figure out everything we can out. We're going to go in reverse order, though. If we know that we have a circuit that's just 20 volts and it has 12.7 ohms of resistance, well, then to find the current, we just do I equals V over R. That's going to be our total current, which is 20 over 12. So that means the current coming from our battery is 1.57 amps, 1.574 amps, 1.574 amps. Uh, and the current coming from our battery is the same in all of our circuits. So we have 1.574 amps coming from our battery over here as well as we go back. Um, so now we know the current, we can actually figure out the voltage drop across each of these resistors uh, using Ohm's law again. V equals IR. For the 5 ohm resistor, it's going to be well, 5 ohms times 1.57 amps is going to be 7.87. 7.87 volts. And then we can do the same thing for the 7.7 ohm resistor. That's going to be 1.574 amps, 1.574 amps times 7.70 ohms gives us a voltage drop of 12.12, 12.12 12 
0.12 uh, volts. So I'm going to label that in my diagram, plus or minus, plus and minus, 12.12. That plus and minus, again, just indicates the whether it's a drop one way um, or drop the other way. We're going to continue to repeat this process uh, now that we know the voltage drop across these resistors. Uh, we know some currents. We can figure out some other things. I'm going to label everything in my next diagram. 1.57 amps. We have a voltage drop here of 7.87 volts. We also know that uh, the voltage across this resistor, since this resistor is identical to these two resistors, um, this voltage drop is the same as the voltage drop across both of these. So that's going to be 12.12 volts across both of them. They have to be the same because they're in parallel, 12.12 volts. Uh, we can then use Ohm's law to figure out the current through the 10 ohm resistor and the 12 uh, or the 33 ohm resistor I equals V over R so for the 10 ohm resistor that's going to be 12.12 .12 volts over 10 ohms gives us an easy number which is 1.21 amps and our second current I is equal to 12.12 uh, .12 volts over 338 Five seven ohms. Twelve point twelve over thirty three point five seven is going to give us point three six one amps. So I'm going to label that in my diagram. I'm going to draw this second current over here, point three six one amps, and this current over here, one point two one amps. And just to confirm, just to check. Uh, the current from these two, or along these two branches, should add up to 1.57 amps. So we can check that 1.21 plus 0.361 equals 1.571 amps. So we are good. Uh, everything's looking good. No contradictions so far. Not breaking the laws of physics. Let's go back one more. We're just going to repeat this process over and over and over and over and over again. I'm going to label my currents, put them in slightly different places. 1.57 amps. We know our voltage drop 7.87 volts. Voltage drop across the 10 is 12.12 volts. Um, we don't know the voltage drops there, but we do know the current along each path is 1.21 amps now. The current on this path, all the way along this path, is 0.361 amps. So uh, now we can find the voltage drop across these two little resistors here using Ohm's law. So uh, let's get that done. We know the current through both is 0.361 so we can just use V equals IR. Uh, 0.361 61 amps times 8.571 ohms gives us a voltage drop of 3. 0 0.09 volts. And across our second resistor, the 25 ohm resistor, V equals 0 0.361 amps times 25 ohms, which gives us 9.025, 9.025 volts. So I'm going to label that in my diagram now. Point. That's actually going to be 9. Point 9.03 volts and here we're going to have 3.09 volts, 3.09 volts and just to check these two voltage drops have to add up to 12.12 .12, and it looks like they do uh, so again we are looking good we have everything solved for this circuit so far we are almost done one last step gotta go back to our original circuit I'm gonna fill in everything as I have 1.571 amps coming from the battery. We've got 1.21 amps coming this way. We have 0 0.361 amps coming this way. We know our voltage drops across everything. 7.87 .7 volts, not amps. 
We know our voltage drop across the 10 ohm is 12.12 volts. We know the voltage drop across our 25 ohm resistor is 9.03 volts. And we know that these two resistors, the 20 and the 15, are the same as that 8.571 ohm resistor, so they got to have the same voltage. Um, and it's going to be 3.09 volts for both, 3.09 volts for both. And our very last step is to find the current through uh, each of these resistors. Now, by going along this path, I know there has to be 0 0.361 coming in because there's 0 0.361 going out. But I'm going to use Ohm's law one more time. I equals V over R for the 20 ohm resistor. That's going to be 3.09 divided by 20 ohms. gives us 0.155 amps. The second I is also V over R. It's going to be 3.09 volts over 15 ohms, which will gives, give us 3.09 over 15.206 amperes. And I can label that in my diagram even though it's getting small. 0.206 amps and 0.155 amps. And it looks like those do add up to 0.361. So we are good. Total current is conserved. Current going in equals current going out. Now our circuit diagram is looking a little bit busy, um, but that's because it's a pretty complex combination circuit. Um, that's okay. Uh, now, this isn't the only way you can go about solving these combination circuits, but it is a way that will pretty much always work as long as there's just one source of EMF. Um, and, uh, yeah, the strategy, of again, is to simplify to the simplest possible circuit. Use that simple circuit to find things, and then expand back to your more complex circuit and use Ohm's Law. And we have fully solved the circuit, the voltage, the current, and the uh, resistance of every single individual resistor. Bye.